The girlfriend of a man shot and killed in downtown Lexington is speaking tonight. Family hoping to spread the word in order to catch the man responsible for killing 30 year old Raymar Webb. Our Grayson Passmore shares their story. He took an innocent man away from his family and for no reason. Aisha Banks describes her boyfriend and father of their three children, Raymar Webb, as a caring family man. He was a really good person. I mean, there's nothing bad that anyone could have said about him. Exactly one week ago, someone fired shots into a crowd of people in downtown Lexington around 1.40 in the morning. Webb was shot and killed. Now the man police suspect of killing him is on the run, considered to be armed and dangerous. I hate to say it, but I do. I hate him so much for what he's done to us. I mean, this is, this is sad. This is sad. He has kids out here that he was taken care of. This is 31 year old Brandon Dockery, the man police suspect of killing Webb. He had been sentenced to 45 years in prison back in 2010 after pleading guilty to setting an apartment building on fire. He should have never gotten out in the first place. <laughs> if only he would have just stayed where he was at, he, this is never would have happened. Dockery was paroled after nearly 10 years. I, I blame the system because for somebody who was supposed to be 45 years and then y'all just let him out at the nine years and then he gets out and he kills someone. Someone who was about to welcome his first baby girl. And he took, them, took him away from us the day of our gender reveal. Banks and Webb's family now left searching for justice. Okay. In Lexington, Grayson Passmore for the Fox 56 10 o'clock news. And according to the Kentucky Department of Corrections, Brandon Dockery's second degree arson charge and two charges of attempted murder were not considered violent offenses under state statute. Banks has set up a GoFundMe page to help with expenses. We'll have a link where you can donate on our website.